With YB adding Shadow World to the recent update, that means there are now four of the world variants in the game. But which is better? Today I'll be finding out every of the world's strengths and weaknesses in order to find out which the world is the best. But before we start the video, make sure you subscribe and try to hit 10k before the end of the year. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Each the world variant has one of the following. A barrage, hard punch, knives, time skip, and time stop. But even with the similarities in mind, every one of these stands have different moves that are unique to itself, and that's what we'll be comparing today. Remember, this is purely subjective in my own opinion, so take it as it will. Anyways, the first stand is... Ah, the world. The origin of it all. This is the stand you'll see rampant around the shoots of main game. But is it any good on its own? The world has four unique abilities, with Kick Barrage and Rage being its best feats. Kick Barrage basically comes out on frame 1, and it also confirms after a barrage. You can also desummon your stand and, and one block break if you really wanted to, but that's for the freaky players. It's basically just free damage with little to no risk. Rage Mode is the world's other strength. An attack and defense buff that's passively earned by taking or dealing damage. It literally just makes you stronger by playing the game. As for the other two abilities, well, stand jump's only really useful for scaling high areas and to run away from fights. Why well, do we want to talk about Road Roller and its horrible history? <laughs> this move barely lands if thrown out and is heavily carried by Time Stop. But you can even use its execution feature within Time Stop due to its damage cap. So if you wanted to use its execution feature, You'd have to try and toss it out in neutral or on the shield break. And even if it lands, they'll probably just walk out or dash right out of it. There's not even a reason to even use it then. Or you could just use Rage Gym once. Which do more damage. Yeah, <laughs> Road Roll is garbage. And for those reasons alone, I'm putting it at the bottom of my list. Sorry, the world mains. Overall, I think the world is a great stand. It is helped by the recent version 1.6 update where you can now use Time Stop without Rage. But because every move practically ragdolls, it just lacks the combo potential that other stands have. But did you know that there's one the world variant that has insane combo potential? It's the world AU. Oh boy, where do I begin? The world AU is a certified monster. monster. With it already having hyper armor knives, it comes with a hyper armor and chop shield breaking gun, and a big AoE smoke bomb. That's an insane kit. Although Rage Mode was removed, the Royal AU still has crazy access to any move it might need. It's the best 1v1 oriented stand. All you gotta do in 1v1s is chop, jaw breaker, eye gouge, then knives, then gun, then M1s, and yeah, you get the fucking drill. For the old gen players out there, I'm sure you guys remember when knives used to bypass block, <laughs> and when gun had eye armor. Compared to its original counterpart, it just has way more potential to be a high pressure threat. And have moves that actually work, I mind you. <coughs> Road <roller. coughs> I checked my statement. So for those reasons alone, I am putting the world of you above the world. Now you'd think that with adding another already stronger the world variant, they'd stop there. But I guess now Oh god, what the Who are you? Arguably one of the most powerful stands in the game. The world of heaven has so much tricks up its sleeve, just like it's a relative. Heaven set in knives, hyper armor reality override punch, another big AOE move. God, we're just handing this shit out, huh? An injury override. When comparing the world of U and the world over heaven's maximum damage, the world of U is severely outclassed due to 12's passive called the reality override, which allows it to bypass any defensive capabilities. Having that alongside with S tier and damage it is confidently able to hold its own against the world of U. Therefore, I am ranking the World of Heaven above the World of U. It has the same tools as the World of U to keep the pressure up in the fight, but with the added bonus of its own heals and damage bypass. After seeing all of these worlds, I'm excited to see which one's the next one. Hmm, let me guess. I think the World of Rec Room, probably. This is the new stand on the block. Shadow World is the most different version of the world by far. The barrage is now a stand combo that knocks the opponent away, leaving an opening for free damage or combos. Heavy Chop is basically like an eye gouge, but it's built into the stand. Knife Barrage can proc bleeding on opponents. 
Punish Joint is a high damage impale that can be upgraded to have bleeding and more increased damage. Charisma is a built-in counter, and not only does it have a time swap ability, but its time swap windup is insanely fast, almost unreactable. But Anthony, you may ask, how do you let all this go through the testing place? It's way too OP! Well, Joe, here's the answer for you. Everything's blockable. And anyone with time stop moving can move during its whole duration. With all that being said, Shadow World isn't a bad stand. It still dominates any other stand without time stop movement. And its passive, unrivaled power makes it impossible for your stand to get desummoned. If you're a player of good game knowledge, the stand is easily counterable. Just hold block and win M1 trades. As I'm writing the script for this video, Shadow World is currently getting rebalanced alongside every other time stop moving stand. So this place could easily move through anywhere on the list. But as of version 1.61, I think Shadow of the World is just above the world. I think the two the world variants above it just have way more access to the tools way quicker. It's either that or they have way higher DPS than Shadow of the World. Not only that, but the world of you and the world of heaven have their own built-in shield breakers, unlike Shadow of the World. Here's my final ranking of every the world variant. Again, this list is not set in stone. Paragon is actively working on balances, so any of these could really change. But I think historically in the YBA, the World Alternate Universe and the World Over Heaven have just been notoriously really good. And I don't think it's gonna change. And it shouldn't, because it's kinda canon, and yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I covered every The World variant, but you know, let me. Stay the fuck away from me, you're not in the world, you're not in the world, you're not in the world. Oh god, please, what I do, what I do? Please leave me alone, please! Stop, stop it, stop! Oh, oh god, it's dead end, no, no! Please! Stay the fuck away from me! Oh god, oh god, no, 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 wait, wait! Wait! <laughs> you're like, you're like, walk at the start, and <laughs> you ran. We won't, we won't record too many shots, I'm thinking like, five more. It actually sounds a lot, but... This shit looks stupid. <laughs> Fuck. I'm bad at Roblox acting. <laughs> wait, wait, walk, walk down a little bit, stop. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to say. <laughs> okay.